right, in this video, we're going to do some benchmarks on the Apple iPad 2. Now, generally, benchmarks are a little bit more useful on Android devices. And that's not because of some Android versus iOS feud. It's just because there are more devices available for Android than there are for iOS. So you have a lot of phones with a lot of different specs on Android. But on iOS, you basically have your iPhone, your iPod Touch, and your iPad. So it's useful when you compare those devices to each other, or a current generation device to a previous generation device. But with iOS devices, your hardware choices aren't as varied. But we're going to do this benchmark basically because I've never done a benchmark on an Apple iPad 2 before. And it will help those of you who might have different devices or older devices to do these benchmarks yourself and compare the performance of your device versus the current generation Apple iPad 2. Now, there are three benchmarks we're actually going to do in this video. One is called 3D Bench. Now, I've never tried this before, so I'm going to open it up. And it looks like it's an iPhone benchmark. And let's see if we can actually get it to work in portrait mode. If not, we'll just use it in landscape. And it looks like it's a landscape only app. So we'll just move it this way and we'll two times it there. That way we have a full screen. And it says, in Defend London, you can play 36 levels using bombers. Okay, I don't know if this is a game or what's going on here, but it says, do you want to see it? No, I don't. And there's the benchmark. And it's running close to 60 frames a second there. It says 3D benchmark. Your results. Time. Actually, let's turn this down a little bit. Your results. Time, 8.32 and change seconds. Average frames per second, 59.96 and change frames per second. Device iPad and iOS 5.0.1 and the sound was on and the high graphics. So pretty much on this benchmark the important thing is that in 8.32 seconds I got an average frames per second of 59.96. Now generally when I do these benchmarks I do the same benchmark three times and then give you an average. In this video, since we're just exploring some of this benchmarking software or benchmarking apps on the Apple iPad 2, I'm just going to do it one time per app. The next benchmark we're going to do is Gen SysTech Lite. This is the free version. And let's see what we got here. It says Gen SysTech Benchmark. And it has Test 1, which is Threat. Test 2, which is Parallel Threads and test four, which is parallel threads as well. So we're gonna do test one here. And let's see, please before starting the test, close all open applications. All right, all the applications are closed and let's hit test one here. And let's start the test. Test one, floating point calculations, arithmetic logic unit. It's processing right now. And we're on test two. Calculations pi approach. And test two is completed in 3.72 seconds. Test three. Calculations MD5 hash. And that was completed in 2.47 seconds. Test four, save screenshots to disk. Test four completed in 4.78 seconds. Test five, speed read write RAM memory. completed in 1.45 seconds. Speed read write flash disk. Completed in 2.28 seconds. 
Linear Graphics with Quartz 2D. Completed in 2.62 seconds. Resizing images, test eight. Completed in 7.74 seconds. Test nine, 3D rotations of images. Completed in 5.1 seconds. Test 10, 3D graphics performance with OpenGL ES. Looks like a solid 60 frames per second up here. Average frames per second, 60. All tests completed. And here we get the results. So this is the performance report. It says your device, which covers the specs on the device. And if you're curious, the Apple iPad 2 has 512 megabytes of RAM. It has a ARM Cortex A9 MP Core dual core Apple A5 one gigahertz processor in it. The GPU is a Power VR SGX 543 MP2 dual core GPU. The screen resolution is 768 by 1024. I have iOS 5.0.1 installed on the device. And then I have a UDID number here. The date is 12-7-2011. This device is not jailbroken. It's Tech Harvest's iPad. My language is English, and the results of all the tests, the FPU-ALU, which was the first test, was 2.3 seconds in length. The PI calculation test was 3.72 seconds in length. The MD5 calc test was 2.47 seconds in length. The screenshot test was 4.78 seconds in length. The RAM test was 1.45 seconds in length. The disk test was 2.28 seconds in length. The Quartz 2D test was 2.62 seconds in length. The resize image was 7.74 seconds in length. The Trans 3D test was 5.1 seconds in length. And the OpenGL ES test was 60 frames per second. So my total time here is 32.46 seconds. Okay, as the name suggests, it's the GenSysTech Benchmark Lite. So this is the free version. There is a paid version. If you like the benchmarks that this offers you, then I suggest that you purchase the app, and it actually gives you the option to do these two tests here once you purchase it. On the free app, which is this one, you only get to do the first test. So if you want, you could purchase this app and test out the other two for yourself. But in this video, we're just going to move on to the next benchmark. So let's get out of this one and go to the final test, which is actually Linpack. Now you can get Linpack on Android devices as well, but Linpack on Android looks vastly different from Linpack on iOS. Now you have a couple of options here. You have standard problem sizes and custom problem sizes. We're not gonna worry about the custom problem sizes. We're just gonna go with the standard problem sizes. And you have two options here. You have N equals 100 and N equals 1000. We're gonna hit the N equals 100 here. And immediately right away, you get your results. The time took a fraction of a second and the mega flops per second are 60.792. And of course, this was the N100 test and everything was correct in working precision. Let's hit the N equals 1000 test here. And the N equals 1000 test is done again in a fraction of a second, a little bit longer than the other one but that's because it is of a greater capacity. The megaflops per second were 895.161.
And of course, this is the N1000 test, and everything was correct in working precision. So that's Linpack, and that concludes this video. So those are the three benchmarking apps that I found in the Apple App Store. If you have an iOS device other than an Apple iPad 2, feel free to do these benchmarks and post your results in the comments down below. I'd be interested to find out how an iPod Touch performs, or an iPhone performs, or a previous generation iPad does. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.